Hello students, uh, today we are going to see the next lab. The next lab uh, which we are going to see in this video is adding roles and features in Windows Server 2012 R2 operating system. Now when we talk about the roles and features, uh, roles are the important part of a operating system. When we say the roles are there, so role is nothing but the services that you want to install and the server will be providing that services to the clients that services can be provided using these roles so there are different roles which are available inside the server but uh, all these roles are not activated or you cannot say that all the roles are added when you install a windows server 2012 r2 so by default maybe some minimum roles will be there which are added by default but remaining roles if you want to configure a server the remaining roles you have to configure on yourself so today we are going to see the practical or uh, the lab regarding how the roles and features can be added we can take for example we will take some uh, roles like ftp that is file file transmission protocol is there we will take uh, iis uh, services you can take dscp so these are some different services that are provided by the server and to use these services we have to add the roles of the particular service or we have to add that role in the windows server operating system so uh, we will start the process of installing or adding the roles and features as you can see uh, we are now in the screen that is we are into the window of server manager so this is the server operating system which we already have seen how to install a windows server 2012 r2 how to do the basic post installation configuration and for the roles addition just click on server manager in server manager window first click on local server so as this configuration we are doing on a standalone server we can click on the local server option if you are configuring the services on some remote server you can go to all server option which is below that only and then from all server you can select the server where actually you want to do the uh, addition of roles or features but now we are doing the addition of roles and features on this machine itself so i will click on local server when you click on local server then on right hand side you can see different windows which are displayed just scroll down to see the options which is roles and features so just scroll down you can see different options or windows which are there and now at the bottom you can see one window is there and the title is given as roles and features you can see in the window it is showing some roles which are already installed or the features which are already installed you can see the feature and roles which are already available or which are already being installed so for example file and storage services role is already installed storage services role is already installed so if you want to add some new role into your server that is server then the steps now we are going to say what are the steps to add the roles and features so click on the task option you can see a button that is add roles and features click on this button now it is asking you that before you begin just it is giving you the information okay that before you continue to verify that all these following tasks are completed and then just you have to click on next so now the installation type it is asking whether the installation what you are doing whether it is on role it is a role based or feature based installation that is you are configuring a single server by adding roles and feature and we are doing the same thing if you are installing it is it in a remote desktop using a remote desktop service that is whether you are installing the role services for a virtual desktop infra to create a virtual machine based or session uh, desktop deployment then you can go with this second option but now we are as we are installing it is in a single server i will select the first option that is role based or feature based installation i will click on next now it is asking us select the server or virtual hard disk on which you want to install the roles and feature so select a server from server pool now as we said that we have only one server available in the network uh, you will select the same server by default it is selected just click on next 
now once you click on next now you can see on the left hand side it is showing the highlighting of uh, server rules it is saying that uh, server rules is option is selected on right hand side you can scroll down and you can see the rules which are available to to be added so different rules are there as we said that we will install some basic rules which are there we will select dscp so once you select dscp uh, it's it says that there are some features which are to be added with this role and it will add that features by default so just click on add features <coughs> continue then it will ask you for some feature that if anything else you want to install so i will go with something called as a is that is for web server so again it will show the features which are required for this automatically these features will get installed along with this role I will also select WDS that is Windows Deployment Services. I will also select one role that is Windows Server Update Services. So now you can see that we have selected one, two, three, and four. So we have selected four roles, and by default, the operating system has selected the features which will be installed along with these roles. But if you click next, it shows the option of features also now you can see on this side from server all we have gone to features and you can see the different features which are available if you want sometimes it happens that we, i want to install three roles along with that i want to install some different feature which is available so here you can have that feature also installed so if you want that i want to install this feature along with these roles you can definitely select that feature from here for example if i want to install a telnet server feature now along with that rules which is not connected with that rules which we have selected it is something different what we have selected and i will say next so now i have selected rules as well as i have selected one feature also so click on next then it will ask you the dscp server so with you should configure at least one static ip address on this computer because uh, there is nothing configured on this machine so I will click next then for web server role it is say showing with a note that what what are the things which are required click on next the role services that are that will be installed along with this so if you want the remaining role that is features also to be installed along with the or the role services that has to be installed along with this role that you can select it will show one by one the roles which we have selected the DSCP was selected IS was selected, WDS was selected, then WSUS was selected. So it will show the role services which are available and whether you want to install the remaining role services also. Okay. So now everything is done. So it is saying the store the update if you want to store the updates or anything. So I do not want to store anything now. And I will say next. And the last window will come. It is again a summary window whatever the roles you have selected it is showing all the information and summary of the roles which you have selected the feature that will get installed along with that roles that also information is displayed in this window so this is a summary window and once it is done you can click on install so once you have selected everything all the roles that are that has to be installed all the features that has to be installed just click on install now so once you click on install now the process of installation has been started so it will show you the progress bar also you can see it here that what uh, how much installation has been happened whether it is pending or still it is going on so now the installation has been started you can see installation started on the machine the name of our machine is shown so we will wait for that installation to get completed so it is saying feature installation and it is showing now the progress bar that the installation is going on once everything is done it will show you that the installation everything is completed so let's wait for the roles and services to be installed so remember that whenever you want you want any service to be uh, you can say you want to activate any service in a windows server 2012 environment the important thing you have to add the role first and then only you can use the services so 
in our coming uh, labs also we will see there are different services that has to be used that we will require and for that services we have to install different roles so this lab you cannot say that it is only a uh, you can say a one time lab uh, in your whole curriculum whenever you are doing some new configurations in windows server 2000 then every time you will require this option because any service new service you want to launch from your server you have to add that role first which will provide that service and then you will go with the further configuration so this you can say it is a basic platform for providing the services from the server and that's why this is the common practical which will be always used by you when you are configuring a server so maybe if you say that if you start working in an industry or organization after maybe two or three months uh, the things if, if i ask you that what you have done in last three months on a server then the major thing what you should have done that 60 percent or 70 percent part that you should have handled on the server will be the is adding of roles and features on the server so you can say as a junior administrator at least you should know that how the roles and features can be added into the machine which roles and features are to be added that the senior administrator will inform you that yes uh, please install these roles and services because i want to configure some services on the server but once he says to you that or if he informs you to install a, or to add a role and the particular features in a, a server operating system you should be able to do it on that particular level so that's why this practical is really important from the whole windows server 2012 r2 perspective so always remember these steps which are there it is really easy to add a role and feature so after this we will see how to remove the adds uh, roles and features from the uh, window that is we will see we are adding now so same thing we can do we can remove it also so both the things we should know how to add a role and feature and the second thing you should know that how to remove these features now you can see the installations are completing it is completed dscp configuration then uh, launch post installation task so you can see configuration required installation succeeded on windows of your machine okay so everything now whatever we have selected uh, has been done so the installation process has been completed now the feature installation is completed so it requires some configuration now you can click on close now how to verify that all the roles what we have selected are installed in the same window of roles and features now you can see the roles whatever we have selected are added or not so web server is what we selected is there we have selected a feature called as a telnet server which is also shown now then we have selected the wds windows deployment service so that is also available so you can just filter out also that the rules which are there you can see wsys role is also available so the WSS role services are there under that role and different features which are available you can see this is the old that is you can say the role which was there WDS role also you can see that we have selected so all the roles which you have installed you can just go here and you can see the DSCP also so this is something for the confirmation whether the roles are installed or not and you can see it from here also if you know that i want to see for i want to go for is it will show you if you know that it is wds something it will show you or if you know that it was a dscp server you can directly search like this also okay so this is something about adding the roles and feature the next thing is how to remove it so if you want to remove the roles and features below add roles and feature you can see one option is there remove roles and features so select this option it will it will show the same screen beginning what actually has to be done what has to be completed before starting this it will ask you the server from where actually you want to uninstall the roles or remove the roles and feature so we are selecting the same server now it what what you can see is that the same screen will appear but all other options are deactivated only whatever is installed that 
options are highlighted so i will remove whatever we have selected i will remove this one along with the feature i will remove wss along with the features i have selected dscp i will remove it along with the features which are there so these are the things what we have selected and all this the, the web server was also there so everything we have removed now we have to remove the tick marks that we have to remove and say next it will ask you the features also remember that we have installed one feature that is telnet server that also we will remove now and say next confirmation it will ask you that this is the some this is something which you are going to remove now these roles and these features will be removed from your machine if you are okay with it and you, if it is final just click on remove it will start removing the, the features are removed the roles are removed it is showing you the progress bar for that that whether the uh, how much roles are being, uh, removed and whether the process is completed or not so this is something it will show you. it is showing 38% now and once the uh, install the finalization is done the whole thing is removed then you can close the window and again you can do the confirmation process from the roles and feature windows okay so now you can see the everything is done restart is pending okay so close and now if you can see that if i check iis which was previously shown now it is not displaying anything so all our roles are now uninstalled dscp nothing is there which was previously available so this is how we can add the roles and features in windows server 2012 also we have seen how to remove the roles and features from windows server 2012 so this was all about adding and removing the roles and the features in windows server 2012 thank you uh, we will see in, uh, you in the next video thanks a lot